Hey guys, uh, this is Mike, uh, Nomad Shop in His Life. Uh, thanks for checking in. Uh, well, as you can see from the title, uh, uh, some things going on in my life. Uh, we're in the hospital uh, 1st of uh, February, so <coughs> I had a hard time breathing. It's like hyperventilating. Uh, and uh, uh, still I had pneumonia. So there for three days, and then uh, that was about it. Went home, and uh, <clears throat> actually started feeling a little bit better uh, for a couple of days. And uh, now I don't know. A lot of people may not understand. I'm living. Uh, I live uh, uh, like an urban nomad, nomad in my 22 foot. Uh, Chevy G30 Elite uh, camper, off grid. Uh, you know, I my own energy and all that stuff, generators, what have you. Time. I'm now still in this, doing the same situation, but I've got a friend of mine gave me a spot out in his yard to park the RV, and I'm staying there, and I got electric now and stuff. So that's good. Makes it a little bit easier. Anyway, so uh, yeah. <coughs> so then one night. I lay down, you know, get some sleep. Couldn't breathe. Sat back up again. Another night. Same thing. And then, uh, you know, sometimes when you get sick, it, it drags you down so far, emotionally and mentally. Do you get make a decision? At least I found that. So, this is Friday night. I said, damn, I'm not going to lay down that damn bed. I'm going to, I'll sit in the chair here. You know, and, uh, made myself as comfortable as I could and, uh, tried to sleep. Uh, off and on, that's up, you know. Get up in the morning. I was so tired, I, did, I couldn't make a cup of coffee. So I said, the heck could I'll get, get in the truck, go down, get a couple of pounds, go get coffee. And um, I walk in there. And if I tell you, it took me 10 minutes to go 50 feet. I wouldn't be exaggerating, you know, it was, it was that long. Got to the counter for the coffee. Poured the coffee. That place you make it your own. Had to rest a few minutes. Put the sugar in. And I go up, pay for the coffee, get in the truck. <clears throat> now I have a friend of mine, Matt. He's my son. I call my son. We've known each other for so many years, a long time. And uh, he came to work for me when he was a young kid, still in high school. And uh, um, I've always I took him on his wing. And, you know, uh, we've always been good for each other. Most of the time, I guess. <laughs> and I hadn't heard from him since the first time I was in the hospital. <clears throat> so I get a text, how are you doing, blah, 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 back and forth. And still in my mind, I'm not, I'm thinking, I don't know why I didn't drive at the hospital before that. So uh, he says, how are you doing? I said, not good. And uh, so he says, you want to go to the hospital? And I said, so I said, sure. So I went over and got him, drove me to the hospital. <coughs> Take me right in. And so they come in, and someone mentioned oh, my heart. And I said, okay, heart. <coughs> and uh, my stepdad had uh, heart failure. And uh, with heart failure, you feel the water, and uh, I guess you drown for uh, I don't know exactly how it all works. The heart. I don't know. But I also know you swell. And I said, geez. I said, remember sitting in the bed there talking to Matt? I said, geez, my legs are swollen. So I only have a heart failure. And he comes back in the doctor. And then they're, they, you know, you get pneumonia, but we'll take some other x-rays. Okay. So I said, Matt, go home. They're not going to let me out. 11 o'clock at night. Well, he leaves. But 20 minutes later, the doctor comes in. Okay, you're all set to go. And I was dumbfounded. I'm saying, well... <laughs> 
What the hell? Okay, I now they missed me. I missed the get me out of this hospital now. I, 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 Sign anything you want when I'm in the, when I want to go, I go. I said to the nurse, I said, she, she, you sure he's right? Send me home. She goes, no, no, I'm gonna go talk to him. Sure enough, she talked to him, everything's okay, so I'm spending the night. <coughs> so they got me on steroids and one bag of thing dripping down and strongest antibiotics. I don't know what they were, but they said the strongest. Another one gripping down. And so I, restless night. I, what's nice though, I had a private room so I could sit there for, in the chair and watch TV or do whatever. I, do, I, was, it, it, I think all that stuff keeps you awake. Plus they come in every two hours with the shots here, shots there. Always asking your name, your date of birth, your date of birth. So, long story short, around uh, two in the afternoon, Sunday, <laughs> I'm sitting in the chair and I go out. Fell asleep as far as I know. Next thing you know, I got a bunch of people all over me. And uh, apparently my oxygen had dropped down below 80. <laughs> it's supposed to be between 95 and 100. And I had 100% oxygen going in my nose. So, then I looked at the nurse says, what, look at his legs. My legs are swollen out like, uh, I mean, I'm a big guy anyways, but I mean, literally 10 times. It was so hard, it was like knocking on wood. And, uh, So anyways, Monday the heart doc comes up, says, uh, uh, the lung doctor comes up, <coughs> and uh, says, you know you have problems in your lungs. And I said, well, I know I have pneumonia, but <coughs> he said, well, we saw uh, a couple uh, sp uh, spots, lesions, and um, uh, what have you. And there's three different things. And Okay, so he says, is, is, is that cancer? Or, you know, da, 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 da. Well, he says, very good shot. It's cancer. It's okay. Then, heart doctor comes in. Now, the general doctor there, he said something about my heart <coughs> earlier. And apparently what happened is between the wall of the heart, I mean, the heart and this membrane that covers the heart, I was filling with water. And apparently he noticed it the first time, and then the second time when I came in, the week later, I guess it was substantially larger. <clears throat> There's very few causes for that. Now, I don't know if this is heart failure, because I think heart failure is a little something different where the water goes, but uh, it's usually caused from a bacteria infection or cancer. <clears throat> so, he, he said, what, they, they took me, the next day we went to another town, Worcester, Massachusetts, for the uh, UMass Hospital to get the heart thing done. And he said, they'll run a test and you'll Pretty good idea of what's going on with your cancer now. So, I go in and uh, I did that. They took almost a liter of water out, a fluid out, blood, I guess, if I remember it, at that time. And then uh, <coughs> they emptied the bag twice tonight. And actually, by the next day around noontime, it was coming out, it was just a very light pink. It wasn't like a purplish red like it was before. Which meant that. Uh, it had drained, and that part of the cesspe uh, problem is gone. Anyways, so they come back in first is the heart doctors, <clears throat> and I, I said I just want to go home. Let me, I, I have so much to process. I had the cancer thing, I had the heart thing. I was feeling better because obviously when they drained the heart, I could breathe a little better. And uh, there's it, such a shock to me. You know, you, you think well, you get lung cancer. Well, you got to get a, a warning, or you know. It, it leads up to it. I, I, uh, uh, in January, man, I was shoveling. I was doing, you know, I'm a both athletic guy. I'm not in big, great shape by no means, but I'm, you know, I, I was could do what a typical 60 year old guy could do, within reason. Even with all my ailments, because I have diabetes and I have uh, neuropathy and a whole other slew of things. So I get out. Oh, and then, then the, the, they, they told me that I had the cancer. Now, when I, I'm thinking lung cancer. But he says, they also found a spot, and I don't know if it was my throat, my something down this area. <coughs> so, you know, I, I go home, and I start thinking, what the frig? You know, 
but again, rather other than being a little short of breath now after the whole incident and the heart and the lungs and the pneumonia, <coughs> and uh, I haven't needed my oxygen. I haven't needed my uh, other nebulizer things. You know, I'm gonna start them back up this week though. I mean uh, tomorrow. I mean the machine. I think just more of a preventive thing. And uh, you know, I'm tired. My my legs have been killing me because I think what happened is that stretched all my muscles and everything and then I got a sore on my foot now I'm very I just realized how bad it is there's a big water big water thing filled up you know between the skin and that popped and now it looks like it's fucking infected excuse my language I'm sorry folks I don't I'm not a swearing guy but anyways so I have real doubts about what to do real doubts you know, my I, I have for five, six years, all I want, my whole goal in life was just to be a nomad. When I say a nomad, I just want the freedom. I was just wanting to wake up one morning, one time. <laughs> you know? And I'm going to do it. I don't care if I got to drag uh, oxygen tanks and nebulizers and uh, uh a nurse, I'm hitting the road. You know, one of the problems I have is I have my mother. You know, she's older. But I've been held back all these years for my, you know, first my dad, which is fine. All this is fine. This is all wonderful. But just give me a break. You know, people hold on to people so hard sometimes, make them feel so guilty about doing something that they want to do, only because they're afraid. <laughs> 